2015 Miami Beach Bowl, USF and Western Kentucky. First bowl game in five years for the Bulls. Willie Taggart against his alma mater and the program he used to coach. Plenty of storylines in this one. Another big storyline, Western Kentucky brought in one of the most dangerous passing attacks in college football. Bulls bottled them up early. And after the Hilltoppers turned it over on fourth down, USF goes 62 yards in five plays. Quentin Flowers punched it in from 12 yards out. First of two rushing touchdowns for the Bulls quarterback. 7-0 after the first. Brandon Dowdy for Western Kentucky entered the game best in the country. 72% completion percentage, but turns it over right there. First interception of the season for Nigel Harris. Sets the Bulls up in good field position, and they answer immediately. A record day for Rodney Adams. This 34-yard touchdown run put the Bulls up 14-0 three minutes into the second quarter. Now the Hilltoppers did get it going later in the half. Long completion sets up the Anthony Wales touchdown run. It was close, ball comes loose, they review it and say ultimately the touchdown stands. Two plays, 66 yards in 38 seconds. Hilltoppers then take momentum into halftime with a 39 yard field goal as time expired. 14 to 10, Bulls lead at the break. The Western Kentucky was unstoppable in the third quarter. Four possessions lead to four touchdowns in the quarter. Started off with a dowdy 69 yard touchdown pass. Three plays, 75 yards in 40 seconds. Western Kentucky on top, 21 to 14 at that point. Now Dowdy finished with 461 yards passing, but after a DeErnest Johnson touchdown pass to Tyree McCants, Hilltoppers do answer back with two touchdowns in the final two minutes of the third quarter and take their largest lead of the game, 38. 21. Bulls waste no time scoring in the fourth. That's a 53-yard touchdown pass from Flowers to Adams. New single-season receiving record for Adams, who finished with 130 yards on the day. USF adds another touchdown as Quentin Flowers drives him down the field. Bulls pull to within three. And then after an Eric Lee interception, USF did have a chance to tie the game or push back, tried a long field goal. 54-yard field goal was no good. 38-35 at that point. Western Kentucky goes on to win 45-35 despite a valiant push late from USF.